Hey, hello everybody, the History Guy here. Well, enough of you commented on my video playing on Cedar, Cedar Mountain that I should have pressed the attack and destroyed his army that I thought I would see what would happen if I did that. So I'm going to try to recreate the attack as best I can, recognizing that the enemy often does something very different even when you do the exact same thing. So uh, I'm going to do my best to do that, and we'll see how it goes, and this time I will press the attack and see what happens. I'll, I'll kind of duck in and out of the battle just to let you see what's happening. Now, I believe I had five brigades go to this side, four to this side, and uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to send two up here in the middle to try to contain him so he doesn't try to bust out this way. So I'll duck in and out, and once I get my attack into position and I'm ready to go, we'll come back and see how it's going. Okay, so as you can see, uh, my Napoleons are already doing some nice damage. 144 kills even early in the fight because they're into the flank of Prince right now. And I'm going to move Rosser up just a hair to keep him in range. I've also got these howitzers right here, which are not doing quite as well, but still in nice close proximity. These Orphan Brigade skirmishers, I went to reattach them, and they kind of just walked right into the field of fire. So that didn't work out so well. I'm trying to get the Texas Brigade up here and on the flank of these guys a little bit. And I'm going to need to move these 24-pounders up as soon as they fire again. Okay. All right, so Texas Brigade's now in a place where they can start firing on the flank. And once I drive these guys back, then Hodge, Hodgson can fire on uh, the flank of Geary here. I'm going to need to move these howitzers up at some point. My right attack is just about into position, so I can start advancing them soon. And we'll have to start pressing things on this side once I've got these guys bottled up a little bit. So we'll come back and see how it's going. All right, so we've got them folded back pretty far up here. So I'm continuing to press the attack. He's still in the woods, so I've got to drive him out as best I can. One of my units over here just routed, though. Try to get up here on his flank as best I can. Whoa, hold on, Kemper. Fall back a little bit. So I'm going to keep pressing this. And we're just going to just try to fold him up completely as best I can. Of course, the problem here is I got a unit that's routing, and he's going to kind of mess up my lines a little bit. Send Archer in to try to destroy this battery. And I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, I've just about got him driven out into the open and bottled up in one spot where I'll be able to actually start the destruction of his army. I've got to try and get the rest of my units resupplied. I just now secured the objective. I've got one unit bottled up down here that I probably won't be able to destroy. But the rest of his army I've got surrounded pretty well. And we'll start destroying them here pretty soon. probably need to get one more over here on that side. I'm going to keep moving up my artillery, keep them nice and close so I can put some hot fire on them. I'm 
We'll see how this turns out. I've already lost over 5,000 men, which is twice as many as I lost when I fought this battle before. But his casualties are definitely going to be way higher. Especially here in a few minutes. Yeah, some of them are going to get to escape over here because I didn't get these units up in time. Okay, I'm going to just speed this up. Start causing some massive casualties. And we'll see what happens. These units, a lot of them are going to escape to the right. But we'll, we'll pursue them over that way. How about that? Alright, I'm going to slow it down here for a minute just so I can kind of manage all of this. What I just need to do now is I need to start actually destroying some of these units. And then we'll compare the casualties and what he's got left from the two. I'm going to drop Kemper out of there. Bring Powell up. Yeah, we've got them just about pinned now. I'm going to bring up my other smooth bores. I'll probably end up losing 10,000 men. Nah, only about 6,000. He's got 15,000 left on the field. Ammo is an issue for me at this point, and I'm just about out of supply. And supplies are empty. We've got them pinned into the corner now. I'm going to destroy everybody but the brigade that got away down to my south. There goes one. down to just 12,000 men. Can't really charge with units that are all at zero condition. And 
Nowhere to route, buddy. Alright, we should see some of these units start to disintegrate here in a minute. Got a few brigades who kind of lagged behind. I should have brought my general up too. And the 24 pounders. Alright, what's he got left? 10,000. They're all pinned in the corner now. Send some of my units that have decent condition into charge. Oh, look at Archer. He's at 92%. Get him in there. Go, Archer. Kemper just being destroyed in there. Come on. What are we waiting on? There we go. That shattered a couple of his units. He's down to less than 5,000. Supplies surrendered. What's left of them? 3,000 men left. Gordon surrendered. Is there anybody left? I guess that's it except for the brigade that's down below me there. And we're going to let them be. Yep, that's all he's got left. So let's finish this up. Okay, so that time I lost 9,000 as compared to 2,700 that I lost the first time. But uh, for that cost, that additional cost of about uh, 6,300 additional casualties for myself, I inflicted an additional 14,000 casualties on him because he lost 6100 the first time and lost almost 20,000 this time so probably a good trade-off this time I grabbed 3500 Harper's Ferries uh, I captured 15 Napoleons which helps make up for the ones that I lost so definitely a better result a much higher casualty rate for me but much 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 better in what I inflicted on the enemy. So there you have it. That's what happens when you press the attack if you have the opportunity to destroy the enemy. So I believe I'm in a better position now. Uh, and yeah, you can see here, uh, Army Intelligence Service looking at his available army. It's much lower than it was. So is the armory, which I believe was higher as well. Uh, I think his training might be higher though, but he's got less men. So it paid off. So to all of you who said I should have pressed the attack, kudos, you were absolutely right. And it sets me up better moving forward. So there you have it. That's kind of the redux. That's what it looks like. And now we'll go ahead and we'll move on to Manassas Depot, which involves none of my own troops. And we'll play that one next. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your input. Came in very handy that time. And keep it coming. Thanks for watching.